Welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. I put in two quarts of water into my Ninja and letting that pre-cook. Now, what I'm making is a crab meat salad, extravaganza for my son for his lunch and for snacks. So, I'm using Twist. That's why? Because they're pretty colors. And I want to make a bunch of it. It's going to absorb down into it. So, basically one pack of twist. I went through a phase where I took them out of the boxes and put them in Tupperware to keep them safe, fresher. So I'm gradually using it up. All right, now what I'm gonna need is, huh, I need to get another can of vegetables. Okay, I put in eight ounces of mushrooms in here already sliced. And you know, you can just chop it down a bit to make them smaller because these slices from the portobellos are a bit big. So I'm slicing it down. And this is eight ounces. One ounce box of twists, eight ounces of portobellos, already pre-sliced, which I already washed and chopped up a bit. Now three slices of celery that I'm going to cut kind of small. three celeries. Yeah, 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 dicing I will go, dicing I will go. I washed all these vegetables already. Okay. There's one. I always slice the celery down the middle and then chop it. I kind of cut a bit of an angle and slice really fast. I like to have fresh vegetables in my salad. And this is going to be a crab meat, which I purchased fully cooked crab meat in a full eight ounce package. And there's the second celery. And now here's the third. I love celery. It has a natural sweetness to it. seen celery salt and in containers and nothing against that but I don't know I just like prefer the real celery because it has natural sweetness it's just something that adds to the vegetables like that okay now I want orange colored. So I'm going to take a carrot. I washed the carrot but left the tip on so it would be kind of like a Bugs Bunny. And then I take a grater like this to give it that long spring so like this. And this is the first time we're trying the Ninja to cook the macaroni. The carrots just make it pretty. It gives it a... See the different color it makes it? It just adds something to it. Be my son 
munching, quietly munching on the carrot. Hi guys. All right, now we have our crab meat. Now, this crab meat was fully, I purchased it fully cooked from the deli, which you can. And from your favorite store, okay? All right, and they kind of chopped it for us, but I'm gonna chop it a bit more. And the deli co fully cooked it for me and they washed it for me. And then I again washed it. But it was already fully cooked. We don't show washing vegetables and meats and stuff because that's boring. That, that, that'd be too boring in my opinion. You want to get straight to the recipe. Yeah. So you wash how you want to wash. Everybody knows how to do it. Okay. So I chopped the vegetable up. At different, several different groceries, you can go to a seafood section and get your seafood already. And they can even cook it for you. All right. It's technically yeah. called pre-cooked. So that's why I'm not showing you fully cooked because the deli fully cooked that for me. Now I need to get a can. I want to get a can of veggies. David, get a can down and mix veggies, please. in the house is all freshly stocked. We went through a time every once in a while probably everybody does it every once in a while I let a certain item run out completely before I restock. And that's what I did on the vegetables. So all these are vegetables are really truly fresh. the veggies in there. All right, now I'm going to toss. I don't like stirring one. I like stirring toss. All right, then we're going to add a salad dressing to it. We're going to add our dressing to it. And to toss, go down to the bottom and lift up. See how this works? It mixes it up really, really well. All right, now. <clears throat> what would be good with crab meat? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna just add ranch dressing to it. This is so quick and easy. And I even have the container all set to load it up. And it's healthy for you. It's a good salad. And it's that shake well. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your ranch. Shake your ranch. I'm an earthquake. <clears throat> and it says keep refrigerated after opening. But one thing I found out, if I don't refrigerate after one gets empty, even before it's open, we forget we have it. Like the other video said we didn't have any. Tartar sauce. Well, I found three containers in this Lazy Susan after. We had our fish, so we could have had the tartar sauce with it. Okay, so I'm going to put about a half a cup of the ranch dressing with it. Oh, about that much. <laughs> I know you love how I measure things. I'm so direct. I just kind of eye it if it looks like it's well coated, and then I'll have to ask more and more. I just kind of do it. I look at it, and if it looks like it's all coated, then there's enough on it. If I didn't, well, I just add more. I, as I'm doing the process of this, I'm, as I'm tossing it, it's just kind of pre-coating it. And this needs to be refrigerated after. But it'll be ready to eat when it's all done, but it'll be better cold, trust me on that. 
See, look at that. All right. So I'm going to see you when these are done.